Hello everybody, welcome to the B-Security channel. Today I'll be doing a test on FProt Antivirus by Frisk Software International. Now Frisk has recently been overtaken by Comtouch. So we'll see if that changes anything. So I've never really tested this product before, so this is going to be my first test. Let's open it up. This is FProt, or FProtect, whatever they like to call it. and uh, it's available for Windows, Linux even, and uh, various Linux operating systems. Now this is a completely signature based uh, security program so it doesn't come with any kind of behavior blocker or intrusion detection system or even any firewall. It's totally signature based antivirus. And one thing that you should know before I begin is that this is not a complete anti-malware solution. It protects you from viruses, worms, trojans, and uh, maybe some rootkits, but it's not complete. So don't expect this thing to block adware or even dialers, or I don't even know if it blocks fake AVs, for that matter. But uh, so this is, uh, you know, the theoretical antivirus kind of thing that you know, we've all come to know. But considering that nowadays. Uh, Traditional viruses only make up uh, less than 40% of the total web threat, so I don't think that's a bright idea from FProt to just keep it to the traditional antivirus scanning, but uh, we'll see how it does. That's the main thing. I'll be doing a prevention test this time. No, you know, scanning of folders, because uh, the malware I get in folders is uh, highly composed of adware, spyware, and stuff that this thing may not even be meant to detect. So I won't be doing any detection ratio test. It will be just a prevention test. So first thing, I mean, who cares about memory nowadays, but I'll do the usual check. So in case you're having like a dinosaur age computer, you want to make sure that your antivirus doesn't kill your memory. And FProd doesn't do that, as far as I know. Now, it does use a bit of RAM, like 67 megs, but unless you're like running Windows 7 with the bare minimum requirements, you should be fine because it doesn't seem to affect the system too much. So, system slowdown observed is very less, although it's using about 67 megs of RAM. So, you should be fine. Unless, of course, you're like, you know, you barely have enough RAM on your system to run Windows 7. So it's not heavy because RAM isn't the full story. So let's get started with our links. Let's see how it does. These are pretty decently high detection rate malware. So we're like looking for a perfect score, I mean. If it was a really good AV, that's what we'd expect. This is our first malware. I'm sure this is a Trojan or something of that sort, so it's not an adware. Okay, looks like that thing did something. No response from FProt. Oh, let me just uh, show you once more that it's up to date, because you know you can see pretty clearly, but There you go, it's up to date. So the first one certainly did not get caught. Here's the second one, and it seems to be running just fine. Here's Windows Firewall. Can you allow access? Because uh, not interested in seeing how Windows Firewall does and blocking it from downloading more malware. Just interested in FProt. So I'll hit allow. This seems to be another kind of Trojan. And uh, in fact, Windows Defender seems to have caught it, but. No action from FProt. So FProt didn't turn off Windows Defender. Hmm. 
Now this is a double extension file. Okay, where did it go? Okay, we successfully allowed that from Windows Defender so that whatever it wants to do, it should be able to do just fine. This is a double extension. You can see it's pdf.exe, so... Okay, and in fact, this one did get cut. So it's working just fine. I mean, it's not like... It isn't running fine or anything, so... It has removed this piece of malware. So, out of five, it just managed one, I guess. Out of four. And this is some kind of infected script. It's going to drop something, maybe. Might have already dropped. I have no way of knowing other than if fprod detects it. Let's take a look, quick look at Task Manager again. You can see, I mean, there's malware running in here. So... FProt certainly not doing its job. And this is a paid product. doesn't look like ComTouch has really changed anything. It's still using the same engine and signatures as it used to. And uh, they still are terrible. Here's something that wants administrative privileges. Pretty happy so far that we have ran so much malware without something actually, so that one didn't quite work out. Now this in fact might be some kind of adware, packed with a Trojan or something. Barely had any idea what that was. Okay, so something else did get cut, and looks like it is this file. Okay, it says it's it failed to quarantine it. So I'm going to hit disinfect. If it's going to do it, that is. I've already hit disinfect, now I don't know what it's doing, if it's if it's done, or if it's not working out, I have no idea. Maybe if I just uh, remove it from memory and try that, then maybe it's going to succeed, but that's not what I'm trying to see here. If it can disinfect it while it's running, I mean, any user would just So it doesn't look like it's doing anything. It still says found security risk and it says fail to quarantine. So I'm not sure if that one actually ran or if fprod took care of it. Isn't telling me much and if I hit disinfect it isn't doing it. So that's strange. So we're down to the last two, and so far fprot has only blocked one, and uh, probably it's caught another one, which it doesn't want to remove. Here goes one more, and that too didn't get caught by fprot. I mean, these are all like, nothing here is like really low detection rate malware. 
that you know you can excuse that oh you didn't have signatures and they don't have any second line of defense I believe any antivirus signature based antivirus should at least catch you know 10 of these I think there are 12 or 13 and it should at least catch 10 if it, if it wants to do any kind of uh, work otherwise it's it's better you're better off without an antivirus because it's not doing much okay this one got quarantined so that's good that's number three so luckily the malware hasn't done much to really damage the system in any way it must be doing its work but hasn't shut it down or anything so I'm still in control let's see how much stuff we have running by now tons of stuff you can see now this is certainly not legitimate the first one and now it's starting to lag this is some crap this too this too so is this one using hundred percent of the CPU you can see this one clear piece of malware here's one more and whoops something just happened now this isn't good uh oh we're in trouble major trouble so computer just shut down by itself like a robot said no I, I don't enjoy this I'm, I'm shutting down so I'll pause the video and I'll be back if it starts up that is so I just wanted you guys to catch a glimpse of uh, what happened when the computer tried to reboot and when I try reboot again this is what I get so the computer is not operational that's bad news for Frisk because it totally failed and it let me down really badly I was hoping that maybe the malware wouldn't do anything and I'll be able to run like malware bytes or something but nah it's just totally destroyed my operating system so I guess that's kind of like it I mean there's no point of like showing you guys that oh here here's the malware because you can see what it's done and uh, you don't want your computer like this especially after you paid to get uh, you know a good quality antivirus program so I mean there are a lot of free solutions that do much better than this and it's just not up to the mark what it lacks in features it didn't make up in effectiveness so it doesn't have the features doesn't have the effectiveness really no no reason for you to buy the security software it's, it's just a total failure in my opinion so they better do some work on it because if they want to stay alive because unless you're really stupid you're not gonna buy something like this so I hope you guys enjoyed this review wasn't a bright one really disappointing result but uh, that's how Frisk is I mean FProd is just it's not doing well these days so I hope you guys enjoyed it comment rate and subscribe and I'll talk to everybody later